Hello, um, second video on finding the lowest common multiple and highest common factor for a pair of numbers that are fairly large using um, product of prime factors. So um, to begin with, we have just start off by finding each of 36 and 100 as a product of prime factors. Um, the question I ask myself here when I'm doing this is what two numbers will multiply together to make 36? Um, 9 times 4 makes 36, so I'm going to choose those two. Um, we could choose, um, for example, 2 times 18 would also work. I've chosen 9 times 4. It makes no difference um, to your final answer. So, um, how can I make 9? Well, I can do that by 3 times 3. Whenever you get two prime numbers, circle them. So, 3 is a prime number, so I've circled those two there. Then 4, I can do as 2 multiplied by 2. Again, 2 is a prime number, so I've circled both of them. So I could say that um, as a product of prime factors, that 36 is the same as 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Now, uh, let's do 100. So what two numbers could I multiply together to make 100? Well, 100 is 10 squared. So I could say that 10 times 10 gives me 100. Then how can I make uh, 10 by multiplying two numbers together? Well, that's 2 times 5. Both of those are prime numbers, so I'll circle them. Then again, 10 is 2 times 5, just the same as the other one. Um, so as a product of prime factors, I could say that 100 is 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. Remember that you can check your answer here by multiplying um, these combinations together and it should give you your um, original number. Um, now, next step in doing this is to um, put these um, product of prime factors, each of these, into the Venn diagram down the bottom here. So um, I'm going to label this um, box here 36, this box here as being 100. Now I'm going to start off by finding out which numbers they have in common which I can put into this little area in the middle which is saying that it's in 36 and also in 100. So um, here I've got um, a 2 in both lists so I'm going to put a 2 in the middle. Then you can see again I've got another 2 so I can put that one in the middle. All I'm saying there is that there is a 2 in the 36 box and at the same time I've put a 2 in the 100 box. Then um, there are no more numbers in common between 36 and 100, so I'm just going to put a 3 in here and another 3. That's got rid of the two 3s from the 36. Then um, a 5 and a 5 in here, getting rid of those two there. So I've um, populated my Venn diagram. Now my highest common factor, uh, my highest common factor is simply this bit in the middle here. Uh, so the highest common factor is going to be 2 multiplied by 2. So my highest common factor, the highest number that fits into 36 and 100 would be 4. And my lowest common multiple, my lowest common multiple is everything um, put together. So that is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 5. Um, so let's work out what this would be. Um, it's helpful to start with the largest numbers first. It just makes um, calculating a little bit easier. Um, so 5 times 5 gives me 25. 25 times by 3 gives me 75. Times by 3 again gives me 225. Times by 2 gives me 450. Times by 2 gives me 900. Um, so my lowest common multiple here would be 900. Um, so quick recap of what we've done. Uh, first step is to write each of the numbers that we've got as a product of prime factors. Then after we've done that, um, put the numbers as product of prime factors into a Venn diagram here. Then the highest common factor is the numbers that are in this middle part here, the numbers that are shared between the two, um, multiplied together. So the highest common factor is that part in the middle which is 2 times 2, and then the lowest common multiple is everything that is in the Venn diagram multiplied together. 